Hello. So, this is the split ending branch and a uh, splats work again. Uh, I have re implemented them. I literally just finished re implementing the code, like reworking it with the new system, and it just works. There's no bugs that I can tell, just loaded. I literally just implemented like a rework like the whole Gaussian splats to work with a new system with shared memory and then I implemented the proxying for the renderer so it actually renders and it just it just works like I literally like out of the box. I didn't this is the first this is the first time I like This is the first time I like you know like loaded this after compiling it and it just it just works. Um We'll see if there's like any bugs, but uh, it seems to work. Which is good. I mean, like no more, no, no bug fixing. I was kind of expecting something to be wrong somewhere. Uh, one thing we're gonna test, uh, so you can see when I'm moving around, it takes a bit for the Gaussian spot. It's sorting relatively quick. Uh, let's see if I go graphics. Uh, what is it? Sorting mega operations. I'm gonna lower this down like really low. You can see the FPS actually goes up uh, because sorting is the large part, but you can see now the sorting is super slow. It takes a bit to sort. Uh, so that's working too. I kind of didn't expect that. I didn't expect that one to actually not work. Um, but you see it's like super slow. You can also see like sorting is like a pretty big part of like the GPU load, um, because like this is running much faster, much faster later, but it doesn't like when it's not doing much searching on the GPU. The only problem is, you know, like it'll look wrong if you move too much, and it takes a little bit, like you know, to sort it again. So you know, it's sorted, so now it's fine. But now if I like move, it's just it just becomes wrong. Uh, so I can make it go faster. You know, which now sorts like fast enough. Uh, you can also lower this setting, you know, it might be like a reasonable. You can kind of see it like it takes a little bit to sort. The one reason like um, we're using not as efficient sorting algorithm is because of like the version of Unity we use. So once we kind of switch, uh, this one might work okay. Once we do switch um, to a custom render, we should be able to use like better sorting algorithms on the GPU to like get better rendering. But the yeah, Gaussian splits, um, Gaussian splits work. So if I'm with quick, you know, it's it's like it takes a bit to resort. Um, uh, let's see. Is uh, it's been some. Let's do the horned lizard. It's a Different spot, so I'm gonna start that one. Oh my god, I just loaded. So this works too, like, yeah, it's a uh, fine. Cash and splits work. I kind of really expected, like, something to be wrong because I was kind of, like, tired, like, making all this code and it just kind of works out of the box. Um, let's see, render. Let's try, I'm gonna adjust the size scale, that's being proxied correctly. Uh, opacity scale, that's being proxied correctly, so that works. Uh, I can limit SH order. You see when I limit the SH, uh, I essentially, with it being zero, it doesn't use any of the spherical harmonics, so you see like this metal no longer looks metal. Um, it's no longer shiny because like it doesn't have any directional information for the color. Which is like one of the things that bugs me because like there's like some um there's like some things that claim to render Gaussian splats and they will just throw away all the spherical harmonics data. Uh they'll just gonna convert it to more of a point cloud and it just kinda makes it wrong. Like it's not a like to me that's that's not a Gaussian splat anymore because like you know, one of the point of Gaussian spots is it can store directional information. So you see the metal, it actually looks shiny. 
um, it captures the kind of information. So if you if you throw that information away, which in this case we're not throwing it away, we're just kind of like you know preventing it from being used. Um, and I can also use this setting. This shows you all the directional information. So this is only the directional information, not any color. You're throwing all this info away. And even for other parts, you know, like it's very subtle, but there's also like directional information for other materials, which kind of makes them look more realistic. Um, so it just kind of looks, you know, it looks very dull. And it kind of loses a lot of the kind of realism on it. Um, but yep, this works. Um, I guess that's it. That's, uh, I only have like one thing left on which I pirated that I know of, which is the finger tracking. And uh, then we should have feature pirated for the splitting builds. Um, but yep, yeah, caution spots work. Um, I don't really have anything more on this. I just that they just work out of the box. Even though like uh, the whole I did actually rewrite like a chunk of it to use like to be able to use shared memory for the backing data, so it's good. Okay, um uh, that's it for now. See you with the next one.